The future temperatures over Central Asia are projected to be higher compared to the rest of the world. In the last few decades, the temperature has risen by 5 degrees Celsius, which impacts the entire ecosystem, human, animals, vegetation, soil and water. In a remote area in the high mountains of Kyrgyzstan, we are meeting experienced rangers working for the protection and conservation of the entire ecosystem. Their knowledge of the mountains is crucial to find the tracks of the snow leopard. Snow leopards eat mostly ibex, orgali and blue sheep, and their habitat competes with the increase of the cattle's area. Therefore, snow leopards' attacks on livestock are becoming more frequent. For the herders, who are often economically impacted, such losses are disastrous. And in response, illegal hunting occurs. If the population of its main prey declines, so do the snow leopard. Snow leopards leave scent marks and visual traces to indicate their territories. Marks are made with the head, cheeks and neck frictions on visible spots such as trunks or rocks. They also spray urine onto rocks and deposit feces after scrapping the soil. Those marks are a way for snow leopards to communicate information like the occupancy of the territory, gender and availability for mating. We are preparing plov for dinner, a Central Asian dish. <laughs> and snacks with tea before organizing the next day and going to sleep. A heavy snowstorm occurs during the night, which makes the condition harsh to set up the five camera traps. The full day hiking in the mountains starts around 7 a.m. We stopped near this rock, which is a popular place for animals, and found snow leopards' faces and hair. This location is perfect to set up the first device. Camera traps are essential to monitor and better understand snow leopards' behavior. The images are analyzed and the number of individual is determined from the unique pelage spot patterns. According to the State Committee on Ecology and Climate of the Kyrgyz Republic, there are 386 snow leopards in Kyrgyzstan in 2021.